In this lesson, we learn how to rank individuals using dominance matrices. We start with five people represented by the nodes A, B, C, D and E. We know that player A beat player D. We draw an arrow from the winner pointing to the loser on the dominance network. A also beat E, so we have another arrow pointing from A to E. We can also represent the same situation as a matrix. We call the matrix D to show that it is a dominance matrix. We label the rows and columns in alphabetical order to show the players. Player A beat players D and E. To show this in our matrix, we put 1s underneath D and E. We put zeros under the other letters because A did not beat B or C and cannot beat themselves. Player B only beat player A. We put a 1 under player A and zeros elsewhere. Player C beat players A, B and D. We put 1s below A, B and D. D beat B and E. So we put 1s below B and E. Finally, E beat B and C. To rank the players, we add up the 1s in each row of the matrix. A has 2, B has 1, C has 3, D has 2 and E has 2. We can easily see that player C came first with 3 points and player B came last with 1 point. Players A, D and E are all tied with 2 points. To separate these players further, we can look at the second order influences. These can easily be calculated by finding the D squared matrix on the calculator. Simply enter the D matrix of ones and zeros and square it. This matrix tells us the number of times a player beat a player who beat another. For example, this one means there is one player who A beat, who then beat C. This is because the 1 is in player A's row, below the C. This refers to A beating E, who then beat C. And this 2 means that player C beat 2 players, who then went on to beat E. That is C beating A, who then beat E, and C beating D, who then beat E. From our dominance network, the dominance matrix can be formed. The second order influences can be incorporated in order to further rank the players with more precision. We use a supremacy matrix to separate any tied players. A common supremacy matrix equation is S equals D plus a half D squared. We put a half value before the D squared matrix because second order influences are not as important as the actual victories shown in the D matrix. Working out D plus a half D squared on the calculator, we obtain our supremacy matrix. Now we can add up the rows to re-rank the teams. We get four, two, 5.5, 3.5 and 4. We can still see that C ranks first. E and A are still tied second and we now know that player D is worse than these in third place. B is last. Our ranking is not fully separated 
but we have established that A and E are better than D. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.